Hey everyone, so I wore Rude's full suit at Anna Marathon this weekend, and I wore her for about four hours straight, and the building was very warm, <laughs> so I got really sweaty, and I definitely wanted to wash her, but I decided to only wash the upper body here, um, because there was you know, direct contact uh, with the fur fabric in the upper body, but with the lower body I was surrounded by the pillow padding and so the pillow padding got sweaty but not the fur fabric itself so I didn't see a need to wash the lower body um, because I could just remove the uh, pillow padding and wash those separately and it's currently drying but basically what I did is use this tub that is currently on. It's upside down right now. But I just filled that tub up with water and a little bit of detergent. Put that upper half of the body in there and just scrubbed and made sure that the uh, detergent was getting in there. And I let it soak for a couple minutes. Then I got that water out, put clean water in there and then scrubbed again trying to get all of the detergent out of there and made sure to rinse it out real good and I did that a couple times to make sure that it was all rinsed out and now I have propped it up here as you can see on that tub and I put a towel underneath and I made sure to brush out the fur so that the fur dries in the direction that I want it to you can see it's still pretty wet right now, but you can see that the fur is nice and brushed out. I also have a fan going on it to help it dry a little quicker, but you can still see that it's pretty wet. You can see the difference here. This fur all right here is still really wet, and this is the dry fur. So I'm just going to let it air dry here. Uh, the fan's going to help it to dry a little quicker and every five to ten minutes I'm just gonna brush it out and make sure that the fur is still looking nice and in, in the direction that I need it to dry in and the paws, the hand paws got soaked in sweat so I really had to wash those two and I could have washed it using the same method but I just put them in a pillowcase pillowcase just put it in there and tie off the end of the pillowcase so they don't come out and you can just throw those in the washing machine and uh, just make sure that you put it on the cold setting and gentle is uh, the settings that I put it in and then you just do the same thing that you see here you just lay them out let them air dry, make sure that you brush them out so that the fur dries in the direction that they need to be. And now the paws are clean, the fur looks really nice, and they smell really good too. And the head I just disinfected on the inside using a mix of rubbing alcohol and water. Sprayed it all on the inside and used paper towels. But um, I haven't washed the whole head yet. It's only been spot cleaned and disinfected and I've had her for a couple years now so I'm thinking I might have to wash the whole head pretty soon just so I can get rid of any gunk that's built up over time but she's still looking great and um, yeah I'll probably wash her sometime soon. And yeah that's it. Um, like I said, not very exciting. Just gonna make sure I brush both sides here and uh, have her lay on the back side too so that side gets dry, but I'm gonna let her stay uh, facing upwards for a little while so the front part gets a little bit more dry before I flip her. And yeah, expect to see some tutorial video soon 
the next video I'm going to do is probably going to be talking either about, um, I guess, some advice on starting a fursuit making business, and then I'll also start making videos about uh, how to make a fursuit head and the steps you need to take to do that, and I'm going to start with the things you need to know before you make a fursuit head. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.